What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I am here to do the daily reading. What is it? Monday the 28th? Yes, I am here to do the reading. Um, As always, like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. Um, So we can keep the algorithm going. But, um... Yeah, y'all, what's up? Happy Monday. Let's tap in, okay? So, uh, this is the first card we have out, y'all, today. This is number 19. It says Parasite, okay? So, somebody literally could be sick, okay, for some people. Um, but Parasite, this card speaks to somebody with extreme codependency, Um this is somebody who has attachment issues. Um, and even in the book, it says that when somebody, it says in the book, it says even a leech eventually kills the host and it kills itself. So somebody out here is just like completely fucking drained, but it's almost like, the the thought of like not having somebody or being alone or it just I feel like it really scares the fuck out of this person but at the same time it's also triggering depression within this person too because it's just like okay you're always attached to something or someone you're always in a relationship or you're always having somebody around but at the same time you're never happy you know what I'm saying this is somebody who's just living like miserably you know what i'm saying it's just like their attachment to someone is literally killing them like literally like somebody has is like in a toxic relationship with a leech somebody who just completely fucking drains them you know this is a relationship where nobody is winning it's just one person is being used and the other one is getting the advantage the advantage but both are still being drained completely. Like nobody ever wins in a in a, a toxic relationship, in a one-sided relationship. Because it's just like the person who's always giving out energy is depleting themselves. And the other one who's receiving all the energy is still depleting themselves too. Because it's like they constantly need to be fed energy they constantly need to feed off of somebody so it's like what happens when they kill the person that's feeding them or when they drain the person completely to where there's nothing else to feed off of they go somewhere else to try to latch on to another uh energy source so it's just like that that dynamic is over because this is number 19 one plus nine is 10 so whoever was in this toxic relationship i mean it's just getting to the point where it's just over. Somebody here doesn't want to do that shit no more. Like, real shit, somebody doesn't want to do that. Because first card out we got here is Ascension, Spiritual Path Awakening. So, somebody out here is deciding to, like, ascend. You know what I'm saying? Somebody here has been drained so bad in a situation to the point where it's just like, you know what? It's nowhere else to go but up. There's nothing else to do but ascend. Because I'm like... I'm at, I'm like at rock bottom, basically. Um, but then we got out of the Moonology deck, a new start is coming. So this is a very good card. This is a card of a yes. This is a card of if you're the one that's in this toxic ass relationship and you're just feeling completely drained, this is the universe saying that, yes, you deciding to leave this relationship is the right decision, the right choice. You know, it's time to go. Not, number 19, it breaks down to a 10. Something is over here. It's nothing else that you can get out of the situation. It's nothing else that you can do. It's nothing else that you can learn. It's nothing else that you're going to get. Like, it's just, it's done. A new start is coming because this can no longer be. Period. Somebody is going to be forced to have to deal with their attachment issues, deal with their abandonment issues, deal with their codependency issues because it's nowhere else to go but up at this point. It's a new start coming. Real shit.
and collective for some of you this could have been you in the past it's like you you finally rid yourself of this parasite whoever this was who was trying to latch on to you and drain you i feel like you detached and got away from this person so it kind of depends on where you at in the journey some some people are still like at the point where they're finally getting ready to leave this energy others of you have already left it and you know that you made the right choice by um going towards a new start you know what i'm saying there's a this is like a blessing coming this is like the universe giving you a yes they're they're granting you something that you wanted or they're gonna bless you with something that you wanted for making the decision to go forward towards a new star for choosing to ascend um so this is confirmation that wherever you're going towards if you left this parasite behind you made the right decision or you're making the right decision 606 on the timer as i say this but, I mean, I feel like this parasite is still around, though. Even though someone is detaching from this parasite or you've already detached from this parasite collective, the parasite is still around. Like, it's it's like it's like a parasite on the loose that's looking for a new energetic supply. You know what I'm saying? So, it's looking, this energy is looking to infect somebody else. It's like somebody here is just like, this is this is what they do. This is their life. You know what I'm saying? Whoever this person is, they're just fucking sick. You know what I'm saying? They're just like, they don't know no other way other than to drain people's energy. Like, this is what they do. I feel like this could be like an energetic parasite to where this person really needs like a deep, deep clean cleansing. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker needs to just sit in a bathtub full of uh florida water and sage and salt and every fucking thing else like this person is just like they're sick you know what i'm saying and it's like it's like they can't help themselves because they've been doing this shit for so long it's almost like second nature to them and i feel like this is the person who's wanting to return to you see collective you decided to ascend you're going towards this new star spiritual awakening. You've been elevating. You've been raising your vibration. You've been focused doing what it is you need to do in regards to this blessing that you have coming or that has already arrived. This parasitic energy wants to return to you back to the future. This 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 energy, this entity wants to latch on to you so they can go go with you in your new beginning. This is like a parasite trying to travel with you through this new portal. And it's just not going to happen. We say it's back to the future, back in time, doc science, destiny, divine timing, experiment, fast forward. See, this person still wanted to experiment. Instead of just going with you on this ascension in the first place, whoever this parasite is. Because I feel like this person may have struggled with like codependency issues and shit when you were dealing with them. But it wasn't as bad. But it's like ever since you left this person, it has gotten even fucking worse. So now it's just like this person wants to return to you back to the future. They want to go towards the future with you with their in this sick ass energy. This person has entities and attachments now to where it has formed as an energetic parasite. And it's like you've ascended, you've been going on your on your spiritual path, on your spiritual awakening, do what you want to do. And now this parasite wants to return and latch on to your energy so they can go towards the future with you no so then we got financial support um child alimony government so for some of you whoever this parasitic energy is it could be a masculine energy this parasite could be on child support alimony if they have children with other people. So it's like they may be struggling financially. That may be another reason that this parasitic energy wants to turn, turn return towards you because they're struggling financially. You know what I'm saying? It's cuffs on here because, you know, they lock people up now for not paying child support and shit. So it's like this person may have got, gotten locked up for lack of payment on their child support in the recent past, possibly, or they have before. But it's just like this person is like looking for help. This is not the type of person that gets into relationships based on love. This is somebody who gets into relationships based on who can help them financially because I feel like they already have the courts or the system in their pockets. 
um, in regards to child support or alimony or, you know, something that they have to pay, some sort of financial obligation. And I feel like this person may not really be doing good right now because then we got Friday out here. It says THC next Friday, damn fire Friday after next week's Mary Jane neighbors, lazy hang out. So yeah, something could have happened with this person. Like I said, for some of you, this person could have got locked up for not paying child support. So they could have picked this person up like outside of their home or some shit. Or if that's not the case, this person is like stressed out because if they didn't got fired from their job, um, they could have got fired from their job for like smoking marijuana and shit. Maybe their job does random drug testing and they feel so it's like now, I mean, they let the person go. You know what I'm saying? So for some of you, this person could be unemployed or it's something that happened to this person um, that I feel like was public. Or it could be like maybe they got a new baby with somebody or something like that. And it's just like. It's a 11 on my timer as I'm saying this. So for some of you, this could be like this twin flame or whatever if you subscribe to that. But <clears throat> this is, I don't know if they got a new baby on the way or something like that. Like this person could be getting ready to go through the divorce process. So the new mother or, you know, the new mother of this person's children has filed child support on them. So it's just like, I just feel like, I just feel like this person is just not doing well financially. I feel like they have too many responsibilities and too many obligations in a job that doesn't pay them enough to afford this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? This is like legal obligations. This person could have potentially lost their fucking job or they're going through a divorce where they may end up having to pay child support or alimony or they're already paying child support and alimony. Because for some reason, I feel like this person has more than one kid, possibly. Doesn't have to be. I'm just feeling it intuitively. So I feel like this person already has like they can have they can have children by different people or by different mothers. And so I feel like a mother already has this person on child support. If they're having a new baby, that mother is getting ready to put them on child support. Or if they were married and they had children and they're getting ready to go through a divorce because of whatever the fuck their ex-wife or their ex-spouse is asking for alimony or child support or we will be. <clears throat> And then it has lazy on his car. So this person is really lazy. I feel like this this is the type of person who feels like they didn't fucked up their life to the point where at this point, it don't even matter what the fuck they do because they didn't make too many wrong decisions. This is somebody who didn't had too many kids by all the wrong people. This is somebody who, you know, didn't further their ed education and not saying, you know, everybody doesn't go to college. That's not what I'm saying. When I say not for their educa education, I mean, this is somebody who refuses to learn just period. Don't matter if it's college or just real life. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody who chose to not learn from their experiences. So this person, if they had more than one kid by the wrong person, it's because they didn't learn the lesson from the first time. You know what I'm saying? So this is like somebody who does this shit all the time. But now it's to the point where they can't even do that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's all, only so many times that the universe is going to give you a chance. You know, like, at, at some point, this is like somebody out here, the universe is trying to teach this person a lesson. But it's like, they've repeated this same lesson so much to the point where it's just like, this motherfucker is just never going to get it. And now they're cursed to just be this parasite. So now this person is just going to like, it's like anybody that this person comes in contact with, Anybody that this person dates, it's like they're literally going to ruin this, anybody. Anybody this person attaches themselves to is going to ruin their life, period. It's almost like this person is just like cursed. This person is like bad luck, okay? But it's because this person hasn't learned anything. They've been here on this earth, living life, making all these mistakes, yet not learning from the mistakes either. They just keep doing the same thing repeatedly to the point where now it's like, it's really, it's really costing them. You know what I'm saying? It's costing this person because now they got so much child support that they have to pay or if they were married, now they pay alimony or now they have multiple children that they have to uh, take care of. Or some of you, this person smokes weed a lot. So now they're unemployed because their job doesn't allow this. So now they didn't got fired. It's just like this person is just not in a good space. It's like they're sick. This parasite energy is like this person's mind is sick. 
Like the fact that this person can't stop repeating the same shit is like something is wrong with this person. You know what I'm saying? Something wrong with this person to where they're not understanding the lessons to where they're not getting it. All they know is how to attach themselves to other people and leech and drain them until the person doesn't want anything to do with them. And then they just moved on, to, move on to the next victim. But I feel like now, I feel like this person has depleted all their options. Nobody wants anything to do with this parasitic type of energy. And I feel like now this energy is trying to return to you. So make sure that you are protecting your energy back to the future. Because the next cards we got, it says recalling, reminiscing, memories, and returning. So we got two cards out here that talks about returning. Or back in time, re rewind, back to the future, returning, recalling. So this person is like nostalgic over you, collective. This person is missing the times that you had together. They're nostalgic. They keep thinking about you. They keep looking at old photos of you. But it's just like, it's an obsession because now we got scream out here. So this person is wearing a mask for one. So for some of you, this person is trying to hide this obsession that they have with you. Second of all... Um, this person has a lot of fear here. That fear is sticking out to me. So this person has a lot of fear. Like I said, I told you for a lot of you, this person is like, it scares them. The idea of really just being out here alone, not being attached to anyone, not being in a relationship. It just freaks this person the fuck out. This person does not know how to survive alone. All they know is to leech and drain and use people. This is all this person knows how to do. And now this person, they didn't, they've done that shit so much. They didn't ran this old game so much on different people. It's like people know who this person are now. So it's like when this person approaches people, they just automatically like, no, get the fuck on. Like, no, thank you. Type shit. They just dismiss this person because people know about, about this person. They've heard through the grapevine about this person's reputation. They know how this person gets down. They've seen this person repeatedly get in relationships and then they fall apart like it's like people are they're aware that this person is sick okay and so now this person is back you're back on this person's radar for some reason they want to come back towards you type shit it says grudges so this person is holding a grudge towards you they have a lot of fear this person can have a lot of um anxiety worry paranoia it says stalker so this person is like stalking you like i said if, if they're, they're stalking you on social media like i think they're hiding behind a fake page with this mask on so if they are watching you you may not know from what page or one or what account this person could also be watching you from somebody else's account i'm hearing so they may have convinced like a friend or something to let them use their social media and they're like on there like watching you. So make sure that you're, if you, I mean, if you feel the need to make sure that your privacy settings on your social medias are up to date, you know what I'm saying? Because my social media is set up to where you can't send me a friend request unless we already have mutual friends. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be a friend of a friend to send me a request. Um, and then I also have my story private and just my page period. So even if somebody was to go on my page and try to look at what I be posting and shit, it's like, they will probably, they can only see posts that I make public. You know what I'm saying? Cause otherwise my posts are only exclusive to the people that I'm already friends with. So if they try to look me up and shit, it's just like they can only see like posts, posts that I've made public like intentionally or shit from like a long ass time ago that's not even like relevant or up to date anymore. <laughs> so yeah, so that could be, some of you have your shit already like that. This is why this person stalks you from other people's accounts or they make fake pages and shit because they know that they know your shit is like private and blocked and shit. But yeah, this person is stalking you. It says, watch your friends. It says, mass individual stabbed in the back. So I feel like wherever this person went after you or whoever this person been dealing with, they got done dirty wherever they went. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person met their match. This person was toxic as fuck when you were dating them or when you were with them. And so when you separated from this person, this person went on to go deal with somebody who was just as toxic as them or worse. And then you went on your uh 
spiritual path. You decided to awaken and elevate and ascend. And so now you got this new start coming. You got new beginnings, new blessings coming into your life. The universe is really telling you yes for anything that you ask for, anything that you manifest. And now this person wants to return to you because they see based on their stalking or what they're seeing or what they're watching, they see you ascending. They see you moving up in the world, elevating and shit. So now this person is trying to hurry up and, and attach themselves back to you so that they can go in this new future with you but that's not fair this this new start this new beginning that you're getting belongs to you because you've done the work you've put in the time the energy the effort to work on yourself to work with your shadow to to give god your time and energy to meditate to pray to ascend to raise your vibration and your frequency frequency you deserve this new start. You deserve these blessings. And this person just wants to hop back in the boat or ride your coattails or attach themselves to you again so they can ride off into the sunset with you in your future while they've been running around out here doing fuck shit. No, I think you fuck not. So for some of you, this could be a Virgo or it could be a Gemini because we got Cube and... um. I can't think of his name that plays Smokey, but he is a Virgo. I know Chris Tucker, whatever his name is. Um, but yes, do I want to do the Kipper? Yeah, let's see. Let's do the Kipper. But yeah, this person wants to ride your coattails now because life is like really bad for this person. But this is like their karma for being this parasitic, toxic ass person, for always trying to use people, for always getting over on people, for always taking advantage of people. It's just like the secret is out now. People know you. You've, you've made a name for yourself in the worst way possible. So now people don't want to hang with you. They don't want to help you. They don't want to be with you. They don't want to give you nothing. It's like this person is cursed. Like real shit. And I feel like collective, this was the person that you were with at one point. This is somebody that you dated or something. Now this person is nostalgic over you. Now, for some reason, you're back in this per person's focus. I don't know why. It's like their game is not working on anybody no more. So now they want to stalk you type shit. Now they're mad. They're holding a grudge. So pay attention to your surroundings because this person is giving me like creepy vibes. It's like this person is like locked out and shit now. It's like they've gone crazy. It's just like all these games and shit that they try to play with people is like backfired on their ass now. So it's just like, it's like now they're just desperate to latch on to anyone. But it's like they want to latch on to you because it's like your energy is divine. Your energy is like caviar to, to motherfuckers, okay? So it's just like this person is like, sure like they want to attach themselves to somebody but not just anybody it's like they want the best they want the creme de la creme of energies and it's just like how fucking dare you like this person is really sick in the head because it's just like no who the fuck do you think you are it's like the audacity like no here give me messages for november 28th 2002 so make sure you protect your energy take precautions whatever it is that you need to do like block this person block their number get your number changed whatever it is that you got to do to keep this person about your energy real shit yeah look at that despair i told you for some of you this person ain't got fired from their job they're out of work they're unemployed they could have been looking for a job back there. Their sign says not hiring. So nobody is calling this person back. They're not getting any emails and shit. This person looks like they're sitting outside. Yeah, like 32 breaks down to a five. For some of you, this person is 32 years old. But yeah, that breaks down to a five. Five talks about change. So I feel like the table's turned on this person. For some of you, this person's name could start with a C or an M. Or it could be their last name. Yeah, now this person wants to turn to you when they're literally down to nothing. This person has nothing to offer. They don't have a job. I'm hearing this person doesn't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. It's like this person is in despair, literally desperate. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do and they don't got anyone to help them because they burned all their bridges. 
this is what happens to people when they think it's funny to play games and manipulate people and shit. Like, when they think they always getting over, they always pulling a fast one and they're always, you know, just fucking people over just to get to where they want to be or get what they need and shit. And then they just throw people away like it's nothing. It's like this person has done this shit to, so much to people. They have a name out here in these streets for doing this type of shit. And people don't want nothing to do with this person. Like, real shit. This is like somebody being shunned in their community, shunned in their city. This is almost giving like hermit reverse energy. And this is somebody like, you know what I'm saying? For some of you, if this person is homeless, it's like they don't have nowhere to go to really take care of themselves or take a bath or wash up or anything, anything like that. So it's almost like... Like, like they go to these interviews and shit and look how they're dressed. Like they got a suit on, but the, the tie not even tied right. The clothes are wrinkled and shit. The person's hair is not cut or up to par. So it's just like this person is trying to get a, a job or something. But it's like they show up to the interview like they're homeless. Like this is why the people not wanting to hire your ass. Yeah, then we got house out here, number 20. And, you know, house can mean like um, your temple, your body and shit. But I feel like you like your house, your home is healed. For some of you, you already live in a nice place, a nice apartment, a nice house. You know what I'm saying? Like you have a nice home. You know what I'm saying? Or you've re, re, regenerated your energy, your temple and shit. It's like you went on your spiritual path and God, spirit has replenished you, mind, body, and soul. It's just like, you're like the fountain of youth I'm hearing. It's like your energy is being replenished by the most high because you chose to ascend, to go on your spiritual path. Give me another chorus, spirit. Yeah, mature man. Yeah, so the community is watching this person. I'm telling you, did the community, ooh, community with poverty. I'm telling you, the community knows about this person. For a lot of you, this the community, the per, the people that this person is surrounded by, like their family, friends they used to hang out with, coworkers and shit. I feel like everybody knows this person's business. For some of them, they know this person is homeless. They don't have nowhere to go. You got poverty and despair out here. Ooh. I'm talking about this person is really doing bad. They need some sort of assistance. I'm not sure why mature man is out here. I'm going to have to clarify some of these. Clarify the house. That despair card is self-explanatory. Why is the house here? Because for, for some of you, for some of you collective, this is, this is the new start coming. This mature man in the new house. For some of you, you're getting ready to be in a new relationship with somebody. And some of you are going to end up moving. Maybe you're going to move in with this mature man or you and this mature man are going to get a place together or buy a home together or something like that. Yeah, so this is like, and then this, this despair person is showing up in the past position. So this is your ex in your past doing horribly. And for some of you that are already in a relationship with this um mature man your ex is stalking your new person because the mature man came out on top of screen so this your ex is stalking this new man or if they think you're in a new relationship with somebody they're trying to figure out who it is type shit yeah like, look at this. this person is concerned about who's at your house and shit look at this concerned in house they want to know who who be coming over your house who you're with now who, because I told you that your house can represent your body, your temple. So this person trying to figure out who you're sleeping with. It's like this person just wants like the full rundown on you. Like, what are you doing? Who are you with? Who are like, where do you go? It's like this person, so they're stalking you. Ooh, 
But like I said, this person's in despair. They're desperate. Could I find a mature man? I don't know why my heart itching. I may need to pull my fat finger. Y'all, y'all, um, y'all little friend is asleep right now. That's why you haven't heard her. Um, she was just up playing at like eight o'clock this morning. Now she sleeps. I had to post more pictures of her while she little. Because at the rate that she going, she going to be big soon. Um, so, yeah, we got poverty back out here with the mature man. So, I'm telling you, this is your ex from the past that's doing horribly. And then you got a new man that's showing up in the picture now. This mature man is like emperor energy. So some of you are going to end up having a choice. It's like your ex is going to be trying to return towards you. And then you have a new man out here. But your ex is going to be stalking stalking you. Just period. Like if you've met this mature man or not already. It's like this person. They know. It's like they can sense it. Just like you can sense it. Like for some of you collective. You can sense that it's somebody new. Like this person is in your energetic field already. And this person can sense it too, which is why they're trying to make this return towards you. But this person has a lot of baggage. They got child support issues going on. They can't find a job. They don't have nowhere to go. It's like this person doesn't have any stability in their life. But they're concerned about what you're doing. That's why this person is in poverty and in despair because they're so busy worried about you when they need to be worried about their own business. Give me another card, Spirit. Yeah, and see, you're just focused on work. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're just working on yourself, working on your business, going to work. It's like you're focused on your money, getting your coins, getting to your bag. You don't care about this ex from the past and you don't even notice for a lot of you, you haven't noticed this mature man yet or he hasn't made his approaches yet. But I really feel a new start is coming. So whoever this mature man is, you're getting ready to meet him. Just like it's a number 32 that breaks down to a five on this despair card for your ex. It's a number, it's a number five on this mature man card. So for some, it's changes happening. We got five, five out here for some of you. You may meet this man like in the next five days. Possibly anywhere from today to the next five days, you may meet this mature man. And your ex is going to be trying to return too if they haven't already. But like I said, your head is down. Toil and labor, you're just working. You're focused. Some of you, it's, it's, it's housework. You know what I'm saying? You can actually be going to work or it's housework or you're just handling your business. Some of you are cleaning up. For some of you, I don't know if you noticed, you probably haven't even noticed, but for some of you, you've probably like unconsciously been cleaning up shit. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't talking about because like a lot of the time we clean up every day. You know, I know me, like I'm always picking up a broom or I'm always mopping. I'm always doing that type of shit on a regular basis. But I'm talking about you're cleaning up other shit that you probably haven't like touched in a minute. You know, you cleaned out that you clean clearing out that closet that you know you should have been did like some months ago, or you're cleaning out your refrigerator. It's uh, it's almost like deep cleaning and like maybe you haven't noticed, but you're just having the urge to start to clean shit up. That's because you're creating space for this new thing that's getting ready to come into your life. So, yeah, a lot of you are getting prepared with toilet and labor. You're in preparation for this new thing that's getting ready to come into your life, whether it's a new relationship, a new job. It's just like you're clearing space for something. But see, this parasite, this ex of yours is trying to get back in that space, but it's not for them. Like real shit. And then the community is watching too. I'm telling you, the community got their eyes on you. Look at this. You got mature men out here, right? Mature men. Here's the mature woman with great fortune, pathway in the community. People are getting ready to watch you go on this new journey with this mature man. They're finna watch you come into this great fortune and they're finna watch you be in this happy relationship. 
real shit. People are watching. They know it. It's like people can smell it in the fucking air. Like real shit. People can smell it in the fucking air. And it's like people are making desperate attempts to try to like hurry up and latch on to your energy with all this love bombing, all these fake apologies and shit because they know where you're getting ready to go. Like a lot of these people, you're not already blocked from your energy. They don't have access to you now. But when you get to this new path and you get with this mature man and you come into this great fortune, they're really going to have zero access to you. Like point blank, period. Yeah, look at this person. Thoughts. They're thinking about you constantly with the lovers behind it. They they want to know who you're fucking. Like, real shit. This person wants to know who you're sleeping with, who you loving on, who you giving that attention and shit to because you're not giving it to them anymore. They've turned into a parasite because ever since this person left you, ghosted you, or you left this person alone, or you blocked them and cut them off, They've been just leeching on to other people, draining them because they've been trying to find somebody to replace your energy and they can't. It's like collective. You're, I told you, your energy is like a caviar. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, you're different. Nobody is going to ever match your energy. It's nobody that this person is ever going to make that's going to make them feel like you did. That's why you're on this person's radar now. It's like they tried their best. They tried their best to replace you, to date a whole bunch of other people in hopes that they'll get that same feeling with the six of cups that you gave them. They can't find it anywhere. So now this person wants to stalk you. They're on. They're, they're desperate. They're just like, you know what? I give up on trying to replace collective with anybody. That shit is not working anymore. And I want to feel like that again with the six of cups. So now I'm going to stalk you. I want to be all up in your business. I want to know who you're dating, who's at your house, where you moved to, what are you doing now? Like this person is finna be on your bumper again, but it's because you're getting close to something new. It's like you're right on the precipice. I'm talking about starting today and then the next few days, there's like an auspicious energy around to where blessings are just going to start falling in your lap. But it's in preparation to get you ready for this new start. Mm -hmm. And the community is watching. They're going to watch all these blessings and all this shit fall into your lap. The community is watching. For some of you, the community, this could be family, friends, co-workers. They've already seen you get blessed with like little stuff here and there. But it's like everybody is on edge. Everybody is in preparation to see what is getting ready to happen next for you. They know it. They can feel everybody can feel it in the ethers that you're getting ready to get into this new relationship because they know you've done the work. They know you're protected. The way that you've been able to maintain through these trying times, the way that you've been at peace, the way that you've been just getting little blessings here and there, the ones that you have told people about, people can tell. They're putting two and two together. They know that something great is coming for you because you've done the work. They just don't know what it is. Just like you don't know what it is or who it is yet. It's like suspense. <laughs> so what zodiac signs do we got on here? Because I'm talking too much. Per usual, I got to run to the store. And I'm going to be doing some cleaning up today too. Yeah, Mars. I'm telling you, this Mars energy was coming out yesterday. So somebody is going, I'm telling you, Mars is in retrograde. People, it's like the energy is amping up again. It's like people finna start taking action because they're getting desperate in despair. It's like people, somebody out here is getting ready to take some sort of action because they're desperate. This person has tried to play games with you. They try to manipulate you. They try to do everything to try to like get your attention, to get you to chase them. And it hasn't worked. It's just like you don't give a fuck. And now this person's in despair because everybody they didn't try to replace you with, they didn't fucked over. So now people don't want nothing to do with them. They ruined their reputation. It's just like the only option that they have is to, to try to come get you back. But like I said, this person's not in good energy with the parasite. This person is sick. It's something wrong with their mind. For some of you, it could even be their physical body. So for some of you, this person could have like an SCD or something. Or this person is just not taking good care of their self. They're not taking good care of their physical health or their mental health. 
because this person is in full blown survival mode. They're just trying to get by. They're trying to like just go wherever they can go, do whatever they can, take a bath when they can, eat what they can, when they can. And now this person's like focused on you for some reason. So this could be an Aries. And we got Capricorn out here. Some of you, this could be a Capricorn. Or this could be a toxic-ass Aries. Give me another card. I'm telling you, this is this parasite. This person has something attached to them. This person, this karmic, this person, this toxic person wants to return to you. Yeah, then we got Saturn out here. So, yeah, this person is going through their Saturn return. But when I say, I'm telling you, Saturn, and some of you, this definitely could be a Capricorn or you could be a Capricorn and this person is trying to do this to you. But like I said, Capricorn and Saturn, this is big daddy. This is life lessons that somebody out here is not learning. It's like somebody out here didn't survive the Saturn return. It's like they're having to repeat the same lesson and there is, they're not doing good. Aries energy out here. Taurus. Bottom of the deck, we got Mercury, which is Gemini energy, communication and shit. So I'm telling you, this person is getting ready to reach out. Mm -hmm. For some of you, it could be an Aquarius. Yeah, Mercury, this person's getting ready to say something to you because Mercury is the planet of communication. That's why I said we got Mercury entering Capricorn on December 6th. And then Mercury retrograde is next month too in December. I just can't remember when. It's toward the end of the month though, I think. But yeah, now this person wants to say something to you. They're going to try to reach out to you, send you a message, call you, something like that. First of all, this person has already been stalking you, but I don't think they're getting the information that they would like. All right, y'all. And I'm addicted to buying tarot decks. I just purchased another deck. I'm excited about it. It's very, um, the artwork is like, I don't know. It's very, I can't wait to use it. Y'all see what I mean? But I think it, it won't be here until Thursday, so. Give me three cards here for the collective. It's like, protect your energy. Make sure that. You're not leaving anything in your cars. Make sure you're locking everything, doors, windows, car doors. Make sure you got your security cameras on if you have them. And this is not to scare anybody or trigger anybody. But with, with this screen card, you do have somebody stalking out here. And But I don't know the severity of the stalking. Like it could just be online for some of you. Others of you, you actually have somebody stalking you. So it's just like you just want to make sure that you're covering all bases no matter what. So if this is online, make sure you're updating your privacy settings, changing your passwords, all that good shit. All right. And we got Dr. Buzzard. This is the justice card. So for some of you, this is justice. This is this is karmic justice, things ba being balanced out. This is how it's supposed to be. This is your just do. You get the blessings, you get the new start, you get the new beginning, and this person has to start completely over. It's like the tables have turned on somebody. Like, that person was on, on top when you were down. Now this person is down, you're on top. 
But it see, it's the way that this person went about it. You know what I'm saying? When you were down collective, I doubt that you were running around hurting other people, doing people dirty, fucking people over, and all that type of shit. But this person did. So now it's just like they may be stuck in that energy for a long time because it's just like they ruined their reputation. Like, do you know how long it's going to take this person to earn people's trust back? They damn sure not getting yours back collective. But do you know how long it's going to take them to earn the trust back of other people, friends, family members, and everybody else they ain't fucked over? It's like this person got their work cut out for them if they even do it because they already been struggling, learning lessons. So the justice is out here. This is justice. And like I said, this could it could be some court um situation in regards to this shit. So for some of you, I don't know. Like for some of you, this is like a baby father or a baby daddy or ex husband or something. So some of you do like maybe you have to go file for child support or you know maybe they're calling you to give you an update or maybe they need you to sign something or something like that with the justice card out here. Or for some of you, you have to take this person to court or you're starting like the divorce process and shit. But this is this was how it was supposed to happen. This whatever this is that you're having to do, or what you had to do in the past, whether it was take legal action towards this person or get a divorce or whatever the case may be, that was justice. It was supposed to be that way, because this person is not supposed to be on your in your life for this next part of your journey. It's just so Libra is out here. Then we got the Seven of Cups. So somebody could be dealing with a um, Pisces. Seven of Cups, this person is just getting high. They're smoking or they're drinking. And it's just like, this person is like disillusioned. They're in la-la land. It's like this person is trying to escape from their reality. So it's like they're not thinking clearly. Their mind is clouded, especially if they're doing drugs on top of this shit. It's like this person is confused as to how did they end up here? How did shit turn out this way? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles reverse. And for some of you, it had to do with somebody that they were dating, a baby mother or ex-wife or something. Somebody who took them for granted, just like they took you for granted. Like they chose a Queen of Pentacles reverse over you, but that Queen of Pentacles reverse never loved them. It was all about the money from the very beginning. And this queen of pentacles has like t t taken everything from this person. She didn't baby trap them. She didn't got involved, got them involved with other legal shit. Then got them fired from their job, all type of shit. And she's not even a good mother on top of that with the mug queen of pentacles reverse. Yeah, temperance reverse. For some of you, this could be a Sagittarius. I'm telling you, somebody here is pissed. They're pissed. Look, and the three of cups behind that. See, this is you. The Three of Cups, celebrating, happy. Some of you may be getting invited to a party because it, it is that season. You know what I'm saying? We're heading into December. It's getting ready to be Christmas and New Year's. Some of you are getting invitations to um, parties or events and shit like that because the like these new holidays are getting ready to come. Like Some of you are making plans. You're celebrating. I'm telling you, you're going to have some sort of good news with the Three of Cups. There's somebody out here is pissed. With the temperance reverse, somebody out here is hostile. They feel aggravated. They're temperamental, which means this person is easily, easily triggered right now. And like I said, temperance card in reverse is another card of like heavy duty drinking and drugging and shit. So this person could definitely be smoking a lot of weed. That that would That's what could have probably got this person fired from their job is the weed smoking. You know what I'm saying? So either their job did randoms to where they tested positive and they got fired or... And this person just went to work heavily under the influence of alcohol and drugs. And people were just like, why would you come to work fucked up like that? And then they let this person go. It's something like that. You know, let's see. Why is it just this year? Yeah, but this person has a lot of suppressed anger with the temperance reverse. Yeah, look at this. Dr. Grant in reverse. This is the hermit card reverse. Didn't I say that? This karmic justice has somebody from your past in a full-blown depression. It could be um it could be um I don't know why I can't think of it. I keep thinking hermit in my mind, but I'm trying to say Virgo. So yeah, it could be a, a Virgo, or this person has Virgo in their chart. That's the hermit reverse.
He had eight of cups because you walked away. It's like you walked away. It's just like you're done. It's like this shit was not making me happy. I was settling. I was half assing myself. You were half assing me. Why would I stick around for this shit? It's like somebody out here had enough or you did in the past collecting. You just like, you know what? Fuck this. Okay, yeah, the free man. Now somebody feels stupid. They feeling dumb and reckless. Heavy on the Aries energy. We got Aries out here three times. That's a cool car reverse. Yeah, Ace of Ace of Wands. This person wants a new opportunity with you. They want a new start, a new beginning. But see, this person, they don't have anything to offer but dick, sex. It's like they don't have nothing to offer you but sexual energy. It's like you don't want that shit. Like a lot of you collective have raised your vibration. You require more than sex now. It's just period. Then we got the world card reverse. I told you this person keeps repeating the same cycle over and over and over again. This is what they do. They have sex. They get involved in situationships and entanglements with people. And yeah, the sex be good until it ain't no more. Now, motherfuckers wake up and realize like, oh, this motherfucker ain't got no money. They struggling. This going on with them. This going on with them. They got kids, child support, all this type of shit. They can't keep a job, da, da, da. Then it's like, boom, uh, you got to get the fuck away from me or get the fuck out. And then this person's back doing the same thing. It's a repeated cycle that this person keeps doing with the world card reverse. And now it's this person that did this shit so much. It's like now they're like literally this person may be like deranged or insane. Like real shit. Suffering from depression and shit. All this suppressed anger. And then doing drugs on top of it. Like it's not good. Why is the seven of cups here? Yeah, tower. I'm telling you, this person's getting ready, getting ready to have a tower moment where they're getting ready to like explode. Yeah, something is coming to light here. Something is being exposed about this person. Some of you could be a Scorpio. What's a tower going here? Yeah, devil. I'm telling you, the devil card reverse. It's like somebody out here, this anger, these drugs, all this shit is getting the best of this person. It's just like this person, the devil with a tower. It's like this person's obsession with you is getting ready to be exposed. It's like this person can no longer hide it. It's like this person's been trying to push their obsession with you down. They've been trying to act like they're not interested in you. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't like you. They don't care. They over you. They moved on. That is the furthest thing from the truth. The devil card reverse with the tower. This person's obsession is like finna get ready to like be on a hundred. Like I said, for some of you, you may end up having to get a restraining order on this person. Like real shit. I have the devil, the devil card here. It's like because this person wants access to you, but they don't, they can't have that anymore. Like you're not giving them access to you, and the most high won't allow it either because of how this person tried to do you in the past. Like, no, you will not get access to my my child, my divine child. You no longer have access to. When I try to give you the blessing, you misused it, you abused it, you mistreated it. Now you want it back? I think the fuck not, and you still not act, doing what I asked you to do. I'm telling you, this person's on a path of destruction. Yeah, father of coins. I'm telling you, yeah, this is how this person likes to come off. They like to come off like they're loyal, like their husband or boyfriend material, like they're capable of a of a commitment or whatever, but they're not. This person is the total fucking opposite. This person is a parasite. And for some of you, this person really has like an STD or something, because every time I get the King of Pentacles in this deck, look at that little flame. For some of you, this man thing is burning. 
and look at his face. Like, he not sure what the fuck that shit is or what. Look at the sun coming out. Hey, son. Hey. Okay, period. You know it's going to be a good day and some good shit when the sun come out. Because it's been like, it didn't rain here the last couple of days and some more shit. It's been kind of gloomy and dark and kind of scary here. But the sun coming out. Hey, son. Yeah, it's like, it's no secret now. It's like people know that you're of the light, collective. They know you're high vibing. They know you're blessed. They know you're destined for greatness because of just the little shit that they've seen you be blessed with. For some of you, you've moved into a nice apartment or you've gotten a new car already or you've been blessed with a new job. But see, that's not even... That's not even a fourth of what the universe is getting ready to bless you with. What God has coming for you. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you. Your life finna do a whole fucking 360. Or is it 180? Y'all know what I mean. But yeah, your life is finna, man. Ooh wee. Your life is finna take the fuck off. You finna be the happiest you ever been. You finna be paid like you never been before stable like you never been before i'm telling you it's gonna be whole new experiences new friendships new people new man new relationship new house new car new job new family like your life is gonna be so motherfucking lit i'm telling you yeah you hear the dog this person's mad Hold on, Cujo. I just dropped the color. Hold on, y'all. Mm-hmm. The look will pop right out. For some of you, this is a Scorpio. Now look at that death card. I'm telling you, for some of you, I'm telling you, death card is you're done with this person death card this person is going through a major change i'm telling you this person's been trying to resist the change but it's happening regardless if they want to get with the program or not and it looks like they haven't been trying to get with the program this person has been heel bent on doing the same thing repeatedly thinking that that was going to get them ahead and it hasn't proven to be so so now death card everything around this person is ending from relationships to jobs to everything and they have nothing left because they were so busy trying to one-up you or make you feel some type of way or trying to replace your energy that they have not even been focused on their own business. It's a lot of wasted time out here. When this person should have been planting seeds and focused on their kids and focused on shit that was important, healing from their trauma and shit, this person chose to run around and play around out here to try to spite you or get back at you. This is what happens when you worry about somebody else's business instead of worrying about your own shit. How's the death card? Now this person's going through a man. Now this person's being forced into the death and rebirth process with this death card here. That Scorpio energy, they're being forced into the transformation process, whether they like it or not. I'm telling you, it's not going to be fun for this person. It's like the more karmic debt you rack up, the longer it takes you to pay it off. Trust me. I spent two years in a toxic relationship when I was going through my Saturn return and when I finally was done with it it took me four years to actually like get back to a space where I was just like damn you know what I'm saying like that's what I'm saying it'd be a lot of wasted time when you constantly do the wrong shit so it's like when God starts sending you the signs and shit like hey that ain't for you stop doing it don't do that don't go over there just listen because the amount of time that it's going to take you to recover or to get back to a level place, ooh, child, that shit ain't easy and it ain't fun. Like, this person's getting ready to have to go through the struggle. For some of you, this person needs to go to rehab and everything else. You know what I'm saying? They need to take care of their kids. They need to get themselves together. How's the death card here? Yeah, look at that. The most high. Bishop C.H. Mason. So for some of you, this could be like a 
This could be a Taurus, but this is you in this Christ-like energy. The most high is out here. You're in your Christ consciousness, your Christ body. You've learned your spiritual lessons. You're very wise. You're like a go-to person for people when it comes to advice or when they need help or when they need to try to figure something out. They want to come to you because they know you have the experience, the knowledge, the rank to help them with the Hierophant. Let's see. Yeah, look at you. And you're protecting your energy too. The Hierophant with the Nine of Wands. Yeah, look at you. You're ready and waiting for this person to try to come towards you with that bullshit. For some of you with the Nine of Wands, it's irritating you. You know, it's just like, damn, I wish this person would leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, death card, it's over with. There's nothing that we can do. We can't go back and change the shit. You did what you did. You made your choice. We, this is where we at with it. Nine of Wands, this person's not trying to hear that, and I feel like it's irritating you with the Nine of Wands. Mm -hmm. It's like, y'all already know what to do. It's just like, I don't want to have to go there with you, but if I have to, I will. You know what I'm saying? Protect yourself at all costs. Real shit. Because, like, this person is, like, out of their damn mind. Like, real shit. That's the nine of wands here. It's like you've been through enough. It's like you want to come back over here and try to bring more bullshit on my way when I work my ass off to recover from how you tried to play me the first time. I'm like, no, get the fuck out of here. Like, no. Nine of wands. Yeah, two of wands reverse. Yeah, this person chose the wrong path. That's the path you wanted to be on now. Deal with it. Yeah, page of wands. But see, this person is still going to try to reach out to you. They're going to send you a message. Try to flirt with you and shit. No, page of wands. Hell no. Nah. You're the hierophant. You're the hierophant and this person is coming towards you with um a page of, of, of wands. What's a page of wands? Yeah, son of baskets. They want to reach out. Now they want to apologize and shit. Knight of Cups. This person is immature. They're showing up in knight energy, page energy. This person want to reach out to you and apologize and shit all of a sudden. But it's like you already know this person's agenda. You already know this person's M.O. So you know what they're coming for. You know why they're trying to give you this whack ass fake ass apology they know why why you trying to you know why this person trying to bring you these whack ass flowers and shit you know what's up it's like absolutely not get the fuck out of here now this person wants to play nice now they want to apologize now they want to act like they're romantic and they're chivalrous this person's immature as fuck they think they're gonna come back and love bomb you they think the way to get back in good with you is to manipulate your emotions. No. Yeah, Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, this person is literally going to be begging. This person might even try to cry with the Ace of Cups. Try to act like they're just, oh, so sorry for how they did you. Strength card versus person is a fucking coward. For some of you, this could be a Leo. Now this person's oh so sorry all of a sudden they love you so much they wish they never did it blah, blah, blah. this person's trying to run game on you they're weak they're a coward and they're a bitch very bitch made yeah ten of swords this person betrayed you and then they went out there and got betrayed by this queen of pentacles reverse Telling you, this person's at rock bottom. They don't have anything. Not a pit, a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. They didn't broke every bond, connection, friend, ally that they could possibly have. They have zero support from here. Anybody here in the 3D and spirit as well. This person is literally on their fucking own. They might as well just go rogue because they're alone now. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reverse?
Yeah, look at this shit. Then you got a fake ass bitch out here, a queen of pentacles reverse, a gold digging ass hoe that don't take care of her kids with the empress reverse who wants to try to befriend you again too. No, this bitch wants to be just like you, but she think there's a cheat code or there's a, a work around or a shortcut to the empress energy and it's not bitch, it ain't. But like I said, this person can have more than one baby mother. So this Queen of Pentacles reverse and this Empress reverse could be two of this person's baby moms and shit. Clarify this Empress reverse. And you haven't came out in this reading yet. So it's just like you don't want nothing to do with these people. Yeah, look at these. These bitches that didn't have kids by this person, seven of, seven of Pentacles reverse. They're struggling too. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Is one bitch out here who actually she want to act like she was the empress, but you can't be the empress when you always putting everybody else's needs above your own. If you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of anybody else. So this is the empress reverse is the type of female who thinks that, oh, well, if I just give my man everything he needed and want, he'll never do me wrong. Wrong, bitch. He this is the empress reverse is somebody who, who lacks boundaries. She just let somebody do her any type of way and then get mad when she don't get the same energy back that she be giving out. And the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles reverse, she's just a fucking gold digger. That bitch just wanted money from the very beginning. She never cared about anything else. And neither one of them are getting what they want. Seven of Pentacles reverse, ain't no money here. This Seven of Pentacles reverse is debt. It's bill piled up, shit that you can't afford and shit. Um, seven of Pentacles, they frustrating, they waiting on child support to come in, but this motherfucker can't keep a job, so it's not coming. You know what I'm saying? It's like these people are broke and they're frustrated. Seven of Pentacles reverse talks about investing in the wrong shit. These people are not getting a good harvest. Their money is drying up. The, the Seven of Pentacles reverse is, is a negative bank account. Oh, that's a seven of pentacles reverse. Whatever plan that they thought they had for this masculine, whether it was to trap them in a relationship with this empress reverse. Or if it was just to use them for his money, queen of pentacles reverse, he don't got none. He may have convinced you that he had some because he's showing up as the king of pentacles, but that's just the, the facade that he puts on for people when he's trying to manipulate them. He don't got no fucking money. Yeah, father, this father of cups reverse. Didn't I say manipulate? This is a man who love bomb these hoes. Emotionally manipulated these bitches. Father of Cups, that's somebody who could have a drinking problem for some of you. Or just a drug problem. Like I feel like the, the King of Cups Reverse has an addictive personality. It's like they get addicted to shit really easily. It's somebody who's jealous, possessive, vindictive. And emotionally unstable. It's like this is the type of person. The king of cups reverse is the type of person who does manipulative shit. But when it's done back to them, they can't handle it. Then they want to cry and act like they're a victim and shit. King of cups reverse. So for some of you, this could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. It could be a Aries. It could be um, a Virgo. It could be a Sagittarius. It could be a Leo. Libra or Taurus is out here as well. But I also got a high vibe Libra out here and I got a high vibe Taurus out here too. So you can be one of those signs. Yeah, Page of Swords. Yeah, and this person's watching you. I'm telling you, they're constantly looking on your social media. I don't know what this person is trying to find or see. Like, I don't know what the fuck this person is looking at. Like... Why is a page of swords here? Moon card. Or this person can have like a secret kid. You know what I'm saying? For some of you, one of these bitches, it's like people don't know that this... One of these females, I feel like one of these people... This, okay. Okay. One of these women, I feel like the Empress Reverse is like this person's baby mother or ex-wife or something. 
people know about her real shit. Like whoever the Empress Reverse is, everybody knows about that person's ex-wife or that person's this particular baby mother. They know about this Empress Reverse. But people don't know about this Queen of Pentacles Reverse. They don't know that this person has a child. Moon card with the Page of Swords, that shit is a secret. Or, it, or like I said, the community is watching. So it may be a few people who know, but or it may be gossip going around about it with the Page of Swords, but like it's not known to the public with the Moon card. Like people like it's not public information because you see this person, you see this is a man and a child sitting under the moon. So for some of you, this person has another kid by this Queen of Pentacles versus this gold digging ass bitch, but people don't know about it. It's a secret. And like I said, this person is aware that that Queen of Pentacles reverse is somebody who's money hungry. Like, look at this shit. So I don't feel like this person is with their original baby mother. This is somebody else they linked up with. King of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles reverse. This could be a bitch that burned him too. This Queen of Pentacles reverse, this is somebody who gets around. She's a gold digger. She sleeps with people for money or everything is all about money to her. So it's just like she could have been sleeping with a bunch of people and then this dumbass, whoever your ex is, got involved with her and she was like just trying to be with him for the money that she thought that he had and shit. But then she ended up giving him an STD too and a fucking baby. With the moon card, see, people don't know about this other baby mama or this other this queen of pentacles reverse that this person is currently connected to. They know about the ex wife and, and the baby mother that this person already had kids by, where they probably this empress reverse wanted to be in a relationship with him, thought they was gonna get married and shit. That shit never panned out. So when shit ended with their original baby mama, they got with this queen of pentacles reverse, this gold digging ass bitch that was only to use them for money. Because, like I said, this person has a point to prove. They're codependent. They always got to be in a relationship. This person literally just be getting in relationships with anybody. So they fucked around and got into a relationship with a queen of pentacles versus a bitch who was only trying to use them for their money. Never loved them and possibly burned them with an STD. And now they got a child by this person too that they probably don't even fucking want. But it's a secret. They're trying to keep it from the public. Real shit. Yeah, daughter of coins. It's three kids out here. I'm telling you, this person, oh my God. I mean, page of pentacles reversed. That could be bad news in regards to money. So like I said, this could be them getting the child support payment, but it's nowhere near the amount of money that they thought it was going to be. Or this could just be them like being notified that it's gonna be more delays when it comes to getting the child support payment and shit. Or like I said, Page of Pentacles reverse, that could be another kid. It's at least like three to four kids out here. I'm telling you, this person just does the same shit over and over and over again. Like why you keep making all these kids getting into these relationships, knowing that you can't afford this shit. Like, what is wrong with you? Now you got the audacity to be mad. But see, this person did all this shit to try to spite the real empress. Like, what the fuck? Why is the page coins reverse? Yeah, four of wands. This person could be living with somebody. They're living with one of these women that they got these kids with. Like, real shit. Yeah, and look at this. Ten of Wands. It's a burden. They are they are stressed the fuck out in this household. Overwhelmed. Stressed out. Burdens piled up. Like, ooh, we or this woman that he's with is. It's like she's trying to hold on to the for the sake of having a relationship and having a man. And like I said, it's tis the season. So it's just like we going into Christmas. It's still holiday season. This is the seasons where people want somebody. You know, they want to kiss somebody under the mistletoe. They want to do all the little cute shit. They want to bring in the new year with somebody. Valentine's Day is after that. They want to do all that cute shit. But it's just like somebody is stressing. It is stressing a bitch out trying to hang on to this man with all these burdens, all these problems, all these baby mamas, all these kids, a shortage on money and shit. And the whole time this man is looking and lurking and spying on you. 
Mm-mm. That's a world card reverse. Yeah, three of coins reverse. I'm telling you, this person's unemployed. So they could have recently lost their job. But with that Friday card, they could end up losing their job this week for some of them. Three of pentacles reverse. Yeah, look at that. Son of coins. Now this person, or like I'm telling you, the people that this person the, the people that this person went off and tried to work with after they left you. Or whatever the case may be, three of pentacles. It didn't work out. They don't get along with these people. Motherfuckers can't agree to the plan. All type of shit. It's just like it's not, not working out. Not in pentacles. Now this person wants to come towards you. Now for some of you, you haven't heard from this person in at least a year with the nine of pentacles. Now here they come want to explain some shit to you. Well, what had happened was blah, blah, blah. Like, no. Spirit, tell me, why does this person want to come back to us as a collector so bad? Why do they want to come back to us as a collector so bad? Queen of Knives, Queen of Swords, because you, you're smart. Because you had a knowledge. Because based on the type, because you make good decisions. That's why. With the Queen of Swords, they know you're smart. They know you're intelligent. They know you make good decisions. They've been watching you, spying you, watching what you've been doing, how you've been moving and shit. Seeing that you make good decisions and shit. Seeing that your empire hasn't failed. Seeing that you haven't lost yourself since they've been gone. So now they're just like, damn, like, this is the type of bitch that I really could see myself with. The type that makes good decisions. One that's smart. One who knows what the fuck she's doing. One that knows her shit. One that's educated. Period. Queen of Swords. And you looking at this motherfucker like, absolutely the fuck not. Like, no. Yeah, this person's stuck on you mentally. Six of Swords reverse. And then they're stuck with whoever this person with that they're getting ready to have this new baby with. They're stuck there. They're stuck living with somebody they don't want to live with. They're stuck in a marriage they don't want to be in. They're stuck with a kid that they don't want. It's like something is like has them stuck to whatever the fuck this shit is in the background. The whole time they can't stop thinking about you. Queen of Swords. Yeah, seven of swords. This person then got caught cheating. They got caught lying. Or they're trying to be sneaky. It's like they're trying to come speak to you and sneak away from all the chaos and the bullshit. Yeah, seven of wands. You're going to block this person or you're going to create firm boundaries. It's like, no, don't bring your ass over here. Don't come around here. Don't call my phone no more. Don't text me. Don't add me from no fake page. None of that shit. Or you're just going to block this person, period. Yeah, six of cups. I'm telling you, this person got bad blood. They got beef with a lot of people right now. They, they into it with the mother, they kids, they baby mamas, they ex-wives and shit. They got legal issues going on. For some of them, they need to move, but they can't afford to. Their funds are low. And this person just wants to focus on you. It's like escapism. How are you thinking about the collective? How is your main focus the collective when you got all this shit going on in the background? How? Yeah, son of knives. This person is a liar, a gossiper. This person talks shit about you. So when this person comes towards you trying to explain some shit, they may be even trying to throw other motherfuckers under the bus to try to paint themselves in a better light with the knight of swords reverse. The knight of swords reverse can also be somebody. That's somebody who gossips. That's somebody who's a fast talker, a con man. That's somebody who's a liar, a pillow talker and shit. That's somebody who's immature. That's somebody who thinks because they got, a, got the gift of gab that they can talk their way out of anything. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Yeah, nine of coins. This person is a con artist. Nine of so Knight of Swords reverse with the nine of pentacles reverse. This person is a con. They're a fraud. They're fake as fuck. They're a gold digger. It's like this person only likes to use people. But it's just I'm telling you, the parasite. Ever since this person tried to use you and drain you, everybody else that they they ran into after you have been people just like them. So it's like, how are you going to use somebody? Like, how two, how are two parasites going to use each other? 
that doesn't work. It has to be one parasite and then like a person of the light or a person with good energy. But if you got two parasites trying to feed off each other, how is that going to fucking work? It's not. So now this person wants to come in, love bombing you, lying, throwing people under the bus, gossiping, telling you, giving you the tea on other people's business and shit to try to paint themselves in a good light so that they can get back into your good graces with the nine of pentacles we've heard. Yeah, look at that. Daughter of baskets, page of cups. It's an apology. I'm telling you, this person's going to be lying about how many kids they got. I'm telling you, it's like four kids out here. All the pages are out here. Yeah, three of swords reversed. This person is going through a breakup. I'm telling you, this person is blackmail going on out here. That's that child support with the six of pentacles. It's just like, this person's life is a fucking shit circus. Like, real shit. Why is the temperance reverse is the overall energy? Yeah, so somebody has an attitude today or they're mad. Temperance reverse. Could be a Sagittarius. How's the temperance reverse? Yeah, nine of swords. Somebody out here. This whoever this is who's mad and upset. Oh my god, nine of swords. They are fucked up right now. They're in a fucked up headspace. A lot of anxiety. This person know they're guilty of doing motherfuckers dirty and shit, but they still will not stop doing it. They still won't stop. Nine of swords with the temperance. They're being haunted by all the shit that they've done. All these babies, all these kids. This person, it's like shit is coming back around to this person. Shit is catching up to them. Now they don't know what to do. but want to try to run back to you and see if they can manipulate you, but it's not going to work. Four of Swords, you're protecting your peace. Seven of Wands with the Queen of Swords, you're not going to play with this person. You're going to be like, get the fuck out of here with all their lies and all their bullshit. I don't give a fuck what you got going on. I don't give a fuck how motherfuckers is doing you. That's on you. Get the fuck away from around her. Four of Swords, you're not going to let this person disturb your peace. Real shit. You're ready for this person within Nine of Wands. Yeah, Two, two of Swords, you don't care. You don't care. You're indifferent. You don't give a fuck what this person got going on. Just like they ain't give a fuck about you, right? You're going to act like you don't even see this person. Yeah, love is reversed. This person is codependent on your energy. Yeah, two of pentacles. And they're still juggling. They still got bitches somewhere. Bitches in the background. Three, three of wands. The three of cups is out here too. Well, no, I don't know about the three of cups. Yeah, the Ace of Swords, that's the truth. But the Three of Wands, it's like they got other parties out here. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse with the Five of Cups. Oh, you just heard the horn? Yeah, the Magician in reverse. Like, this person seriously plays too many games. Like, they play games to the point where this shit is going to get them, like, hurt. Like, Star Card reverse with the King of Wands reverse. Yeah, their reputation is stained. Like, this person is well-known, but they're not well-known for anything good anymore. Ace of Swords, this is the truth. Now this person wants to rush back towards you. you. You may hear from this person today if you haven't already, but fuck that. So collective, this has been a reading. I hope that it helps. I hope that it keeps you on guard. Make sure you protect your energy. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. And I will holler at y'all later. Peace.